Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. We're watching a game from the Blitz Tournament series from the third of those Blitz Tournaments hosted by Fire and Slitchip. Or however you pronounce his name. <laughs> I just call him Firearms. This is a loser's bracket final game between Thomas Hyatt, Pink Aeon, and Torin Yellow. Cybran on Loki. So it was a double limb tournament, and uh, the winner of this goes to the final. The loser is out. And yes, the winner will go on to play Petrick. Petrick already defeated Thomas in the semi final. And Torin actually lost in the second round. So he's had a long path through this tournament in the loser's bracket. Defeating Zlo in the previous game. So. Oops. <clears throat> Let's see. What do we have? A couple of laps from Torin on the way out. Third air from him, first two engineers to the trees. Thomas Hyatt, first two engineers are expanding ASAP. He's grabbing a couple of trees over here. These are tree groups as well. Although, well, I think they are all tree groups. There might be some single trees, not sure. So this uh, unusual build from Thomas, he's gone straight for the expansion. Which makes him vulnerable to labs, potentially. However, well, I mean, we do see labs coming for him. So, let's see if, if Torn catches these. Now, he has the two labs together with a scout. So, it seems like he won't be splitting them up. The aim would be potentially to take out a, an Aurora should he meet one. This is problem. He needs to be getting the tree groups. Instead of the single trees here. So he's spotted now by the scout of Thomas. Another scout from Thomas. This engineer is well protected with a scout and an Aurora. Another Aurora now coming out of the base. And these lab these labs are looking for an engineer that would be here. However, Thomas has expanded so quickly. Second engineer going to the three mexes here with no reclaiming on the way. That Torn has just missed this guy completely. Didn't even catch one radar. There goes Torn's scout. And he's being tracked by Zorora. And these two scouts spotted uh, the labs as well. And now the lab is in between two Aurora. Only takes two shots from Aurora to kill a lab. So both labs killed. Big investment from Torin that yields no results. Nothing gained there whatsoever for Torin. And that makes it an excellent start for Thomas as he also has a very fast expansion. Look at the eco. We do have a bit of a stall there. But uh, only a minor one which is now resolved. Three land factories and an air factory up for Thomas. Two land factories and an air factory, so actually that is a major advantage to have one extra land factory right now. Plus we have some assistance on the air factory. Although yeah, Thomas can't actually afford that, so that's uh, <laughs> maybe not such an advantage. We have three engineers over here, with some taking trees, one expanding quickly. In the expansion, we have a factory coming up, and that's going to be producing engineers to grab all these rocks and also the tree groups in front of him. Quite a decent score lead at the start of this game, but more importantly, probably 600 mass lead from the faster expansion, I would say, mainly. Uh, yeah, the reclaim is exactly the same. This engineer does not look like he will survive. 
Oh, he's getting some reclaim. Oh no, he wasn't the... The engineer was reclaiming the rock, but uh, yeah. He's not gonna survive. Very, very good raid from Torin there. Got a couple of Aurora kills and only lost... Did he lose one tank there? Only lost one and killed an engineer and two Aurora and a scout, so that went quite well. On the top side, he has no defenses whatsoever for this engineer that's expanding. This engineer is now going to be spotted by the air scout. Looks like the inti numbers are completely even. We also have a raid here. An engineer goes down. A second engineer goes down. Two Auroras are late to the party. Third engineer may go down if he pops out of this factory soon. <laughs> Thomas still power stalling. He really was hoping to get some of these tree groups right about now. Also, his hydrocarbon seems to be quite late. Torn long since finished his. Another engineer goes down. Aurora is going to go down now as well. So, this makes up somewhat. Oh! Yeah, he does get it. This definitely makes up somewhat for the the lab problems. Oh, finish that mix off. There it goes. Tries to run in here. Actually, the terrain doing wonders for him as the Aurora on the cliff here was shooting in the directly into the ground. So he gets another kill. Another mix goes down. These raids are, are big from Torrin. He has some annoying mantis in the base now, but they will be caught. Bomber comes out, and a transport also leaves the base. Looks like it's been spotted by this air scout. It's been locked. I think he should be able to get that drop away, and let's see what's in there. We have four engineers, a tank, and a mobile anti-air. As this bomber heads for these two engineers, and these two engineers have the same order, so they're going to be right next to each other, and they're probably both going to die to this bomber. Which is no good. There they go. The spiked bomb of the, of the shimmer. Takes them out. As Torrent not only heads to T2 land, but upgrades two, T two mexes to T2 at the same time. Now that does not seem reasonable. I do not think that that is a good decision here. He's now pausing his T1 land production. As he reaches T2 land, he should probably try and finish those mexes off, really. Get a bit of assistance on them, but... For now... He's gonna try and make some units. He's gonna make some hoplites first, then create the T2 engineer. Doesn't rush the T2 engine immediately. A raiding Aurora gets uh, reclaimed, and Thomas moves in to win air. And uh, looks like he will win air as he's he's caught some small portion of Torin's air force out of position, and now moves to catch. The transport, he needs to drop. Yeah, Torrent aborts the mission. Oh my god, I thought he wasn't going to land there. He just about dropped. They really took their time hopping out of that uh, transport there. Thomas with one T2 Max, another one. Halfway, he has a small amount of assistance on it. He's also um, got T2 air, not going for T2 land. Have a flak being forced as uh, Torn does not have air control. Thomas with the superior map control, thanks to having this corner. Thanks to the drop he landed. And thanks to the bomber that killed these two engineers here. Torn now forced to expand here with the transport and also forced to not drop as far as he could. Another bomber is coming. 
And these engineers, once again, all have the same orders. They haven't been split between the mexes, and this kind of laziness may cost him his expansion again. Certainly it's going to slow it down if it doesn't deny it completely. How many engineers are we losing? Two. There goes two engineers. And another one. Oh damn, that is that is not good and the bomber is still alive. Has finally been locked, but the engineer is not dodging. And so oh my god, that's That is so extremely painful for Torin and now also a T2 gunship headed this way. Torin just finishes a PD right in time here to force the Aurora away. There's no artillery here to to attack that uh, that position. Thomas has the range gun and the sensor upgrade on his ACU as a couple of hoplites and some mantis move into his main expansion. Looks like he's heading down in this direction to try and help out not many units at all to deal with these T2 units. Most of the units in this position and the PD gets taken out by some of these new Aeon gunships. And now the Aurora move in. Torrent forced to throw away some inties to attempt and kill this uh, attempt to kill this specter gonna move with his ACU back towards the water he's just running for his life he's trying to get away from the Aurora and more importantly the gunships at least he can shoot back at the Aurora but uh, not so much with the the specters factory goes down expansion a flak moves in to try and defend them. Another hoplite is here. And this is, this is quite a nice raid, but also a desperately needed raid because Torrin is really under so much pressure here. He's now lost all seven of these mexes in the bottom half of the map. T2 support factory is finished now. He can support that. Now he's making his T2P gen. It's quite late considering how long ago he he made T2 land. Thomas has probably had his for a long time. Gunships moving in. We can see that Thomas is actually losing air thanks to probably his uh, lack of fuel on some of these inties, but also Torn had a lot of air production going on there. A lot of assistance on the air factories now switched it to rush the T2P gen up. More mexas go down for Torin at uh, this time two gunships. And all this anti-air that's forced up it is actually getting some kills so it's not completely dead mass but uh, it certainly you don't want to have to to make all of this. These two hoplites are still alive. There were maybe three in this position. Let's see. Ace who finally arrives just in time to see that everything is dead. He gets maybe one kill. If that. Oh, he may get. Yeah, he gets a hoplite there. This hoplite, however, dodging some shots. Nice dodges there. 1,000 mass killed. Three vets. Gunship goes down on the mountain. This expansion is raided by a few tanks, the hoplites. Not sure where they were going. Killing killing some Aurora on the water, I guess. And Thomas still with major map control advantage. This has to be retaken. The AC forced so far back, all the way back to the Hydro to uh, expand there after he lost those to gunships. When really the AC should be defending this position, but versus the gunships, he couldn't he couldn't stay there for fear of uh, well losing his life. 
and the game. Thomas Hyatt also forced Arga to be out of position and didn't really achieve much by moving down here as the damage had already been done. T2 transport dropped some artillery, mainly artillery in the back of the base. He's going to go straight for Pigeons, goes after Kizzy radar here. Oh, he's actually going for the T2 air HQ. Torn has recently upgraded and he's going to get the kill on the HQ. That is very painful. Fervors just have so much damage output. Oh man. And there goes the T2 Max as well. That is quite painful. A couple of PGens also going down. Oh. Wow, four pigeons got right down right at the end with the last shot. The transport has been caught. Spectre's taking shots. And now dodging shots. Here comes Torin's ACU. Once again, very exposed. So, Inti's are sent on the expansion though. Oh, the hoplites are killing themselves. They're killing each other really. Small amount of friendly fire happening. Well placed flak here in this group. Take out the gunship that is attempting to stop this. Oh he should definitely be taking out this factory. And he does send one rocket pot back to finish that off. One more shot. One more volley will do it. Torn's getting a factory. Meanwhile, Thomas is getting a PD with the, some dropped engineers. He also dropped four engineers into this expansion, I think. And is reclaiming and capturing the mechs as the ACU has been lifted onto a very low HP transport. Which is... That is, that is risky. I mean, as a rule, don't put your ACU on a low HP transport. <laughs> oh, comes in, immediately gets an overcharge killing two uh, two hoplites. Another overcharge comes in to kill a third, to escape. I think we lost that hoplite which had a huge amount of mass killed. Unfortunately, probably to an overcharge there. This whole expansion has been killed though. Once again the ACU arrives just after everything's already dead. Blaze is sent out to chase down these hoplites. Blaze is definitely the correct choice. You don't want to you're never gonna catch up to uh these hoplites with obsidians, that's for sure. Thomas has just moved past the T2 stage, almost straight to T3. You can see he's only made a few T2 units, a few blazes, and now he's on T3 land. Torin, meanwhile, well, he's trying to regain his economy. He's still making uh, hoplites. And he's still trying to take back his uh, his expansion. He's still lost so much map control. The damage done here is not really sufficient. Looks like Thomas is now qu quite far ahead on the total mass. And has T2 mexes kind of all over the place. He's going to have all five of these mexes upgraded as well as the the four in his main base. Torn meanwhile has the four in the main base and two outside of it upgraded so and still needs to make that investment into T3 land probably should recycle some factories he's gonna be desperate for mass here. This uh, amount that he has in storage is not gonna last too long. You can see he has fully ceased T2 land production. He has 14 hoplites. 
He is regaining this map control, dropping some engineers to this expansion. Can take some reclaim here, small amount. Can take the mechs is back more importantly. The blazes are catching his uh, hoplites as they are meant to. Has the air control? Doesn't well, not too many inties for for Torrent. But it's probably reasonably even. But yeah, the issue is T3 land. We have a Harbinger aboard a T2 transport. And we have one on the ground moving out towards this expansion where significant damage can be done to these uh, to the upgraded mexes. This harp is also dropped across quite dangerous again that was the low HP T2 transport so it dies very quickly but he makes a relatively safe drop I wonder if it's worth it to, to, to risk that though but uh, yeah there you go have some torpedo bombers not sure why I mean I guess he, they were for the ACU in the water perhaps maybe he thought he could force the ACU into the water or something Potentially get a kill. This Harb has lost its shield. But now he's being microed quite heavily. And it's probably going to reach its first vet quite soon. And the shield is recharging. Topside is getting raided once again by the same hoplites that raided it earlier. Or some of the same hoplites. So good use of units there from Torrent. Still has the same flax with them as well, so that's quite good. Thomas is making an upgrade. Probably, yeah, it looks like he's making the shield. T3 land is finished and a brick is completed. But already we have several herbs out. And the expansion is dying. You can see here this may have been upgrading, maybe not. But these two upgraded mixes are dead. First herb that got quite low also survives. And Torin still cannot retake this position. I think maybe a, a sniper bot would be a good choice. They're just so good versus the ACU. That would keep Torin away from this position forever if he could just leave a sniper bot here with a shield of course so he doesn't get bombed these hoplites trying to <laughs> avoid the ACU he's gonna take out basically the whole expansion but it's gonna cost him all these units no doubt so we have two bricks out but there are let's see how many harbs six harbs out already And in terms of eco, well, Thomas has not uh, not stopped ecoing. He has added storages, various positions. Looks like he's going to make a drop as well. T2 transport is loaded with two harbs. And he seems to be gathering almost all of his harbs in this position. Yeah, he's changed his mind here. He's going to aim for the base, actually. Which is a bit of a blind drop. He does have a nice T2 radar here, which gives him good vision, but it's still quite a risky drop, especially if. Well, yeah, it's quite risky. Let's see where Torn's Indies are. Ooh, maybe that's not a good place to put them. Actually, this is quite a normal place to park your Indies. But, uh, yeah, the drop works, it lands. And he can run into the base with these two and kill. Yeah, he's actually going to kill this pigeon with this harp before the brick can kill him. Right. Yep. He gets him. Gets the pigeon. And the other pigeon is also dead now to these two harps that dropped at the front of the base. And 
Yeah, the Harps now going after the T1 power. And that should be game. Also looks like an air wind is about to happen and the gunships are gonna put in some punishment on the on the base as well. Energy storage just go down. Actually one energy storage just brought down everything. Okay, a bit of a chain reaction there. Torin has no pigeons whatsoever here. I think he's down to his ACU's production and the hydrocarbon at this point. So you can see this is being built extremely slowly. One health point at a time. And yep, yeah, that is game. GG. Thomas goes to the final. And uh, yep, yeah, well played to both these guys. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more Supreme Commander content. See you next time guys.